the key would be around somewhere and you had to go get the key to come and unlock the door. The key has a trap lock in it so when it locks it you can't get it out so if it's a false alarm we know who used the key. Let's see if it Now, this was started by Tesla. Tesla and Edison were having a fight with the AC or the DC. Now that was the last two strokes. Four of them. See now we're going on 254. Two, five, four, and you would have a list like this. And it would tell you where 254 is. 465 is an old British bar. It's 122 West Tennessee. 122 West Tennessee is down behind the hospital. Okay, now. The battalion chief had a driver. Right? And when they got to the fire, the driver came over and manned the box. So that's one, two, it's always four. Okay. Now, Joe, you're the driver. The battalion chief says, this is a tough fire. Give me a second alarm. And then pull the box. The first alarm, like in New York, would be three, four engines and two or three ladders. The second alarm would be three or four engines and two ladders. Then the third and fourth alarms are all engines because the space for the ladders are all taken up. Now, when you get to be battalion chief in Oak Ridge, are you going to worry about a space being there for the power? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They could also say like three boxes was out. Alright, this is cast iron, cast iron, cast iron. These are Herculite, which is a little bit. Oh really? Yeah, we got some that home. Okay, now let's see if we've been yes, living sir, right. Okay, this may not be that. Who was that, Joe? That was just your neighbor calling to make sure you're alright. Okay. Nice people. Yes, sir. This works about half the time. Let's see if it's going to tap off.
Let's see if it'll do it. Visual and audio. You guys are nice. It doesn't work if I have the camera. Now. Okay. This is DC. And you put them in a circuit. Which said is you put more boxes in a circuit, you're putting more resistance in, and you can't cross connect circuits with different resistance. So that's what this was. Now this was in a fire station in North Carolina, and the chief wouldn't sell it because. He said they'll put it in a bar or something. So I went into his office. Now we're Methodists. And he had the Methodist daily devotional in the Bible on his desk. I said, I'm talking to this guy. <laughs> so every year for five years, I went twice and talked to him. And then I went in, he said, I can swap it now. How do you swap it? I need a bell and a box and a tape for the kids to pull. I said, you got it. So now this is in the back of a station over in, um, I forget where it was. Can you see that slate? Yes, sir. So I get it here. How do I get it in here? My son is the basketball coach at the high school, so they come up here and put it in. It wouldn't work, but I didn't have the guts to take all those little screws out. Beautiful machining. So I called a guy up in Lebanon, New Hampshire, and he sent me pictures. And it is mechanically operated by weight. I didn't have enough weight, so I put the right weight on it, and it worked. Let's see if it'll work. Now, why do you use weight rather than, hell, Courtney, weight rather than electric? You can lose electrical, but weight is there once you get it. It's about $2,500. Okay. See the lantern? Guy bought one in the other day. It was $240. That's kerosene. You know how kerosene works? Yes, no, it's got a wick on it and you turn the wick and you set the wick on fire and adjust it. Like the old coal miner lamp. What? Like the old coal miner lamp. I couldn't hear you my hearing aid. Old coal miner lamp. Yeah. What else do they do in coal mines? Birds. Okay. That's the hand buckets. You missed the box. It, it worked today. It? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish we could still use it. <laughs> <laughs> 